Hey guys, welcome to Gear Intervention. Today we'll be looking at the Analog Man Sunface RCA edition. So Analog Man has been around the boutique pedal industry for quite a long time. He's well known for many many years for building this Sunface model which is a fast face type um, circuit as well as his Blues Breaker interpretation through the King of Tone. So fast phases, uh, if you do know about phases, it's one of the most oldest fast circuits you'll find. It's a um, two transistor topology. You have silicon, germanium variants, different transistors will have different impacts of the tone. And his sun phase model reflects that with a variety of different transistors you can choose from. So this is the RCA edition, it's germanium based and um, it has the bias knob built in which is the sundial that you see over here and the sundial is uh, you're supposed to keep it at noon that's a recommended setting which is uh, where the face aligns to the sun huh? and then um, he recommended that the fast knob be put to the maximum so today you'll be hearing um, a couple of different settings mostly in this position uh, through a bunch of different guitars but for one of the sections we'll pick around and see how the bias which is the sundial affects the circuit so at the intro what you saw was the reverend descent baritone that i have and i'll be using this again for the next segment So we'll be trying the sun face out with single calls. I'll be using a Sugi Rainmaker on the neck position for this. The Reverend Descent has really powerful humbuckers and it could clean up really nicely. And I don't think it will be any different for this. But this time we'll look at the different bias settings and see how they interact with the circuit. Yeah. 
So now let's listen to some humbuckers in a more conventional scale. <laughs> So that's the Analog Man Sunface RCA edition. This was such a joy to play. I found that the cleanup tones were fantastic. There was this great chime to it that it's kind of like an overdrive pedal already. And, and you can just write everything on your volume knob and play a whole set and get all sorts of shades just from your volume itself. And it performed with hard, like powerful humbuckers, with single calls, whatever it is, you throw anything at it, it could clean up really, really nicely. And um, I've played a bunch of fast phases. This is really one of the best. I'd give it an A. And if you were looking for a fast phase, like this is something you should consider. If you're looking for just a fast in general, this is also a great option. So overall, would you need a gain intervention for this? Yes. I mean, if you're in for a fast, do it. If you're in for overdrive, you can still do it. Like there's really just so much so much fun that you can derive out of this the only caveat is it should be in the first of your signal like uh, it doesn't want to see any other things in front of it no buffers so if you do have a lot of like um, uh, a signal chain through uh, a switching system and you wanted the sun phase to be part of that it might be a bit of a problem but it's all on a case by case basis so shout out to my friend AG from Instigator Afrobeat Orchestra for loaning me his pedals and for me to demo them and um, do check out his band and please stick around, like, subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy my content. Thank you!